Greetings from Boston. Philip Roth, the post-war American author who scandalized middle America with the publication of his novel Portnoy's Complaint in 1969, has died of congestive heart failure. Roth was a wonderful author who used spare prose to communicate very insightful and downright funny ideas. He was a keen observer of culture, a keen observer and critic of consumerism, and his books stand among the best ever produced by American authors, particularly in the post-war period. So let's talk a little bit about Philip Roth, why he was great, and why he will be missed. Subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. This is The Daily Nugget. Born in Newark, New Jersey in 1933 to first-generation Jewish immigrants from Europe, Philip Roth showed himself to be an exceptionally bright individual from a very young age. He attended the University of Chicago and had by that time developed an interest in writing. He published his debut novel in 1959 called Goodbye Columbus, which addressed themes that would run throughout many of his 30 books. The theme is a young Jewish man or boy coming to grips with being an adult and assimilating in the American context. He was sometimes criticized for his unflattering portraits of Jewish characters and denounced as a self-hating Jew by other Jewish people. His biggest novel, the most famous, is called Portnoy's Complaint from 1969, which takes place as a monologue given by a young Jewish bachelor to his psychoanalyst. And it is the funniest, most explicit, frank, and even shocking novel you will ever read. It went on to be a bestseller. Many people wanted to ban the novel because of its sexually explicit subject matter, but it was never banned. And again, it was a bestseller. Nathan Zuckerman was a recurring character in many of Roth's novels, and in the Pulitzer Prize-winning American Pastoral, published in 1997, Roth has Zuckerman narrating the tale of a former high school classmate whose teenage daughter rebels against her middle-class background to become a terrorist in late 1960s America. Philip Roth wrote so many great novels, and he had this beautiful way of communicating ideas, somewhat reminiscent of Ernest Hemingway in terms of the spare prose, but so much more humorous, and he just had a great sense of humor. So when I read Roth's novels, I always end up laughing very hard, and I just love laughing as I'm reading. So they're a lot of fun to read, but also so literate, so insightful, so observant of the culture, and particularly the Jewish experience within the culture. Roth wrote some great books later in his life, arguably some of his best. I Married a Communist in 1998 was critically acclaimed, as was Human Stain from 2000. I already mentioned American Pastoral. Definitely check out Portnoy's Complaint, and also check out the debut, Goodbye Columbus. By the time of his debut, he had matured as a person, an individual, an artist, and writer to the point where really all the pieces are present in that debut novel. So Philip Roth will really be missed. He was a great American author who broke through boundaries, who broadened the sphere of free speech in America. Philip Roth was a cultural critic of the highest magnitude. So again, rest in peace, Philip Roth. Thank you so much for all you've given us. Signing off from Boston. Bye.